Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about Arch Linux. Now I've done a few videos lately about Arch and I've had some interesting comments about some of the uh, claims that I've made. So I just thought I would put some things out there. Now I'll put this out there first. These are my opinions, okay? Most of the videos that I do that are not tutorials are opinion based. So I just will say that right up front. I think the vast majority of people who want to use Arch should use an Arch-based distro instead of vanilla Arch. I don't really think this is a debatable point. I think that the vast majority of people who want to experience Arch would actually be at a disservice by installing vanilla Arch. And I say that for multiple reasons. One, Arch installing vanilla Arch is fairly difficult. It's not as hard as the stereotype says it is, but it's fairly difficult. It's not for new users. It's not even for regular Linux users. Most people when they who are Linux users hardly ever crack open a command line. And the Arch install is all command line based. Now that doesn't mean it's you know the difficulties up to the Gen 2 levels, because it's not. It's 100% possible for anybody who's at least passingly familiar with the command line to do it very easily, probably within like a half an hour. It doesn't even it doesn't take that long. The Arch Wiki is very good, so I mean it's not as if it's impossible. But I think most people who just want to use Arch for varying reasons, whether it's the AUR or it's the hoopla or surrounding it would be just as well off or better even better off using a deri derivative of arch. And what am I what do I mean by derivative of arch? I'm talking about Manjaro, Arco, Endeavor, Chaos even. Um there, there are hundreds of them, hundreds of derivatives out there, all of them good. But basically what I mean is any derivative that has a GUI installer, usually using calamaris. I just think that for the vast majority of people, that is preferable because it saves them time. It's easier and less uh, daunting. It is. Um, it, it it's less likely that things will go wrong in a, a GUI installer, specifically things surrounding partitions, and internet connections, and Grub installation. Because the grub installation is completely, you know, automated. Uh, you just choose which drive you want it on, and it's there. In, in Vanilla Arch, you have to run these commands, and sometimes it doesn't work. The vast majority of the time, when I've failed to install Arch, it's because of something going funky with the grub install. And it, it gets even more complicated when you have more than one distro installed in your dual booting d distros or Windows or whatever. It's even more complicated and more likely to fail. So that's the reason why GUI installers that do all that kind of stuff for you is much better for the vast majority of people. But even if we move past the whole noob argument, most people who even aren't noobs would be better off just using an Arch derivative because it's efficient. It's less of a waste of time there's as far as i can tell and i'm by by all means leave a comment below if you think that i'm completely off base on this but as far as i can tell there's no good reason to install vanilla arch unless you want the experience that's really the only upside to installing vanilla arch is that you build it yourself so everything on your system is something that you put there Whereas that's not necessarily the case if you're installing something like Arco or Manjaro or whatever, you're getting what the distro maintainer in that those cases wants you to have. Arco is a little bit different because you actually do get a lot of choice in the Calamari's installer, but Manjaro, you just get everything that they want you to have. The only choice you get there is what Office Suite to have. So Arch really is about the experience. It's, it's one of the reasons why it's become such a meme is because by installing it, you've accomplished something you know you've put in the work and that's great uh, I will say this by installing arch 
I learned more about Linux during that, you know, experience than I'd learned, you know, in two years prior in total. It's because, you, you know, you learn how to use CFDisk or FDisk. You learn how to install Grub and uh, uh, make sure that Grub is actually working. You, you learn how to connect to the internet via the command line, especially if you're using Wi-Fi. You know, you learn how to do all these things that you would probably never learn how to do otherwise. And that's a great thing. I love learning and I love prodding people to learn new things when it comes to Linux. But if you're just wanting to use Linux and specifically Arch and you're not necessarily attached to having that ex learning experience, Arch-based distros that are, have a GUI installer are way better. It's just, I don't think, they're, like I said, I don't think it's arguable that Arch-based distros in that case are better. Now, we could have an argument about which Arch-based distro is the best one for people who don't want to install vanilla Arch. I think I would go with Arco. Arco is my favorite. It's not the one I'm using right now. I'm using Manjaro. I couldn't get Arco installed the last time I distro hopped, which is, you know, disappointing and weird. Had something to do with light DM or something. Not, it was really weird. It doesn't matter. My point is, is just that I feel like there's this sense that if you're using an Arch-based distro and not vanilla Arch, you are diminished in the eyes of everyone else. And that's just blatantly not true. For the most part, if you're using an Arch-based distro, you are an Arch user. <laughs> you are. Does it? Does your NeoFetch say something different? Sure. But if, are you using the AUR? Yes. Are you pulling from the Arch repositories? Yes. Uh, if you're on Manjaro, you're a little bit different because you also have the Manjaro repositories and those are a little bit delayed and it's it's very weird and gets a little bit more complicated. But for the most part, you're still an Arch user. It's a bad argument. I understand this because, I mean, if you're using Mint, you can't go out and say, just because I'm using Mint, I'm also using Ubuntu, even though Mint is based on Ubuntu. But I feel like it's different with Arch because when you're making an Arch-based distro, you're really just making Arch easier to install. whereas and for the most part, if you're making an Arch-based distro, you're, you have the same aims as Vanilla Arch, just, you know, you're choosing what gets packaged, you know, with your distro. Whereas Linux Mint and Ubuntu, they have two fundamentally different ways of looking at Linux. And, you know, one likes snaps, one likes flat packs, one, you know, has a boner about chromium the other one doesn't you know it's just, it's just they feel they'd be much better separate they, they feel more separate than uh, arch based distro and you know vanilla arch they vanilla arch and arch based distros like manjaro and arco they feel much more you know intertwined whereas here, here's an example uh it feels like Linux Mint and a lot of the Ubuntu-based distros could just snap off at any given point and be their own thing. They could just fork Ubuntu and just carry on, you know, along their own merry road. Whereas, it never feels that way with Arch-based distros. It feels like they're very much married together. And it's, you know, it's just the way that it feels to me. Like I said, these are all my opinions. So, it's easy for to say, well, you know, Matt, you're way off and there's a good chance that I am. It's just that for the most part, I think that most people would be well off if they just chose an Arch-based distro that was easy easy to install. Um, it's not even just the easy and easy the ease to install that dist distro that I'm talking about. Really, it's the time because compa things go wrong when you buy, when you build Arch vanilla Arch Linux uh, for almost everybody. I mean, very rarely will you. I mean, unless you know exactly, precisely what you're doing, if you're just installing it for the first time, you're going to hit a snag, mainly because if you look on the, the, the Arch wiki is great, but most people get Arch tutorials from like YouTube, and every single one of them skip a step. It's not always the same step. Distrotubes always skips a step. Mental Outlaws probably skipped a step. Uh, uh, there's a guy named Linux Dabbler. His probably skipped a step. And the reason why is because they're installing these things usually in a virtual machine. And the process to install Arch 
Linux in a virtual machine is different than it is on hardware. There's a couple extra steps. Um, specifically, usually around connecting to the internet. <laughs> and that's like one of the first things you do. So, I mean, if your time is important to you, then the Arch-based distros is much more of a rewarding thing for you because it allows you to save time. So, I mean, and if that's important to you, then that's what, you know, should be important to you. <laughs> um, and rant. It's like one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> forgive, forgive my uh, ineloquence because I've actually, this is the second time I've done this video. Um, anyway, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please leave a comment because I'm sure there's some arch guy out there like, oh my god, Ar what the hell is this guy talking about? This guy's a fool. And I may very well be. This is just my opinion. Like I said, my opinion. But I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Uh, I do interact with all the commenters who get who leave comments on my videos. So um, let's get into a fight. Come on, man. I think, and I'll leave you with this thought. The one thing we, all Arch users can agree with, whether you use an Arch-based distro or a vanilla Arch, there you are is awesome. There we go. We can all agree on that. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification icon. Support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.